Right, in the previous slide, we did the rainfall counting of this signal. That's where the red and green lines come from, each one representing a reversal. In this presentation, I will show you how to convert this to a stress spectrum. Now, we're going to basically compile a table that will look at each and every reversal and, and look at the from to values in the stress. Now I'm going to insert, I will demonstrate that on the curve by just inserting a, a, a small little uh, a, a note. So in this note I will say from to and then of course we can calculate the range. And I'm not going to put in units, I'm just going to put in values. Uh, let's resize uh, this shape. Um, um, or, uh, let's resize the text box. The text box should resize shape to fit text. And let's don't have any full. And let's have no line so that you can see the values. And um, yes, and let's make the text a little bit smaller so that we can um, read a little bit more when we make it size 8 um, so that we can have a look at the, at the values. I will use arrows where necessary to, to, to show you what the values is. Now I'm going to just move this one here and I will copy it as needed. Now let's look at the first reversal. The first one is this red one. Now it's clear that this one went from 0 to 100 and that will give a range of 100, right? Um, let's look at the next one. The next reversal is the green one here at the bottom. It's, it's this green one here, this long green one here. And we can say that that green one went from 100 to minus 100. So that gives us a range of 200, right? The next value that we can look at is this red one here. That's the next one in the sequence. And this one went from minus 50 to plus 50. And that gives a range of 100. Good. So that's that one, that, that little green one there. That red one there. Then the next one that we have is the, is the small green one that sits in this little corner here. Um, let's just uh, insert a little arrow so that we know which one we're talking about. I'm talking about that one there. I'm talking about that one. And that one there went from 50 to minus 50. And that gives a range of 100. Right. The next signal that we have, so we've done that one, we've done this one, we've done this one, we've done that one, is this red one here. If we look at that red signal there, that red signal is this one that's going right up to the top there. And you can say, see it goes from minus 100 right up to 100. So it goes from minus 100 to 100 and that of course gives a range of 200. And remember, each and every line represents one reversal. Let's look at this red line here, that red line there. Now, of course, you can do this in a table. You don't need to write it out in the graph like this. I'm just doing this to explain. So this goes from 0 to 50, and that gives a range of 50. And if we look at the small little one below it, this list, small little signal there, we can see that that one went from this, this green one here, went from 50 to zero, so from 50 to zero, and that gives a range of 50. The next one that we have is this green signal here that comes down here. Um, and we just, the important thing is we need to count each and every reversal that we have here. So we have this one, and this one we can see goes from 75 to minus 75. So it goes from 75 to minus 75, and that, of course, is a range of 150. 
Then we have this one here that goes from 0 to minus 50. 0 to minus 50, which is that little signal there. So that one goes from 0 to minus 50, and that, of course, is a range of 50. Then we have this small red one here. That red one goes from minus 50 to 0. It goes from minus 50 to 0. Let's copy this here. So this one goes from minus 50 to 0, which gives a range of 50. That's the small, this is the red one that we see there. Right, then we go to the green one here, which is our last one. So I'll just copy this one in there. That's for the green one there. And that green one there goes from 100 to 0. 100 to 0. And that gives a range of 100. Now, nothing prevents you to, to prepare this in a table format as follows. Let's insert the table. Let's insert the table of... We want to go from to, and then we want to calculate the, the range. And in some cases, you would like to calculate the mean and the amplitude, which is not necessary in this case, um, from to, and then, of course, the number of reversals. So we will have here from, and, of course, this is uh, MPA, simple stress. We will say to, and this is MPA, and we will calculate the range, shift, enter, MPA, because that's the same unit. And here we will calculate the number of cycles to just show you. Remember, each and every line on this curve represents a, 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 represent a reversal. So here we go from zero, from 0 to 100. That gives us a range of 100. And we have 0 0.5. That's half cycle. That's for the red line that you see there. The next one that we have is for this green line here. It's from 100 to minus 100. So it's 100 to minus 100. That gives a range of 200. And it's also 0 0.5. And so we carry on throughout this whole signal. The next one is this red one here. Minus 50 to 50. So we have it minus 50 to 50. That gives us a range of 100. And that's 0 0.5 cycles. Then we have this one here, which is from 50 to minus 50. So it's 50 to minus 50. That's also 100. And that's 0 0.5. Then we have this one here, which is... Um, uh, we already did that, that one. Now we go to this red one here, minus 100 to 100. So let's just add a line here. I just want to move this up closely like... So it's minus one, minus 100 to 100. So that gives us 200, and it's a half cycle. Um, this one here goes from, from 75 to minus 75. So it's 75 to minus 75. That gives us 150 range, 0 0.5 cycles. And you will see where the, why I type in the 0 0.5 all the time. Here we have... 0 to 50 and 50 to 0. Let's speed up. 0 to 50. That gives 50 MPA, 0 0.5 cycles. Then we have 50 to 0, which is also 50, 0 0.5 cycles. Good. So we have done, we've done, we've done those. Then let's do this. This is minus 50, uh, uh, minus 50 to 0 and 0 to minus 50. Let's finish that one. Um, I see it wants to go on to the next page. I just want to put an enter here so that we can have everything on the same page. Right? Um, now, normally, to, to make it easier, you would number the reversals as I've done in class and, and, and just read it off to make sure you, you, you don't miss anything. But the important thing is that we need to put all the signals on. So we finished with that one. Now we're going to do these two. Minus 50 to 0 and 0 to minus 50. So it's minus 50 to 0. That gives us 50 and it's 0 0.5 cycles. Then we have 0 to minus 50. And that's also 50. And that's also a half cycle. Uh, that's for these. And then I think I've done 50 range. Sorry, this seems, this is, Probably um, a, 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 the red one. The red one here is um, 
uh, 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 I didn't, I, it seems as if I don't have this red one in here. Can you see that? Right, so let's put in that red one. That red one is from minus 75 to 75, right? So let's put, put it in. It's for this little red one here. So this one goes from minus 75 to 75. And that gives a range of 150. So um, let's put it in. So it's minus 75. 275, minus 75, 275, you can see the 75 line there. So it's minus 75, 275, that's 150, 0 0.5. 0 0.5 cycles. Good, and the last one seems to be this one here, 100 to a 0. So we have 100 to 0, that gives us 100. And that's 0 0.5. Let's do a quick check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, we expect to have 12 of them. So, I can assume we have all of them. And now what we normally do is we group them in a simpler table uh, because we only interested, we reduce the, the values, for example. You can see there, um, EM1993 base fatigue calculations on ranges. So, now I'm going to put the same ranges together. That's 100 and 200 and 150 and 50s. So, let's create a new table here. So, we insert a table. We're going to have range and, of course, number of cycles. So, here we will have range. And again, it's the same as the units of the original signal. And on this side, we will have a number of cycles. And in this case, we will have 50. Now, let's see 50. 1, 2, 3, 4. And they were reversals. So, it's 4 times 0 0.5. It's 2 cycles. The next one that we have here is 100. Let's see 100. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Four 100s. It's two cycles. Then we will have 150. And 150 has got 1, 2 reversals. So it's one cycle. 2 times 0 0.5. And then we have 200. And 200 has 1 two reversals, so that's one cycle. And this should be, there was 12 there, so you expect there to be, if you take the number of cycles, multiply by two, then you should have the same number as you notice there. And that is how we reduce the information for rain flood counting purposes. And there you can see the rain flood count, the signal that you have there at the top, this signal, for fatigue purposes, we reduce to this little table here at the bottom that we can now use to perform our um, fatigue calculation on. And, and that's how simple it is. We can use this in the damage calculations now, so if we have the applicable SN curve, we can calculate the damage.